Hey guys. All right, so we are, I'm gonna show you how I do these. So I've discovered over the last couple of years, especially the last year or so, that I like journaling, but I like sketchbook journaling and writing journaling or travel journaling. I'm not one for really just making junk journals. It's not my thing. And um, mixed media art journaling is okay. Um, and I do do it occasionally, but it's not like my favorite thing. So I'm in the process of purging some um, stuff because I'm just keeping what I love anyway. One of the things I like doing is this kind of travel journaling. I obviously did this on our last trip to Hawaii. And what I do, instead of bringing a big bag of arts and sketch, art books, blah, arts and craft supplies or sketchbook supplies, um, I will bring um, smaller amounts of things to keep me busy on the plane, whether it's my crochet bag or I do have a DIY coloring book that in a mini little mini bag um, that does have a little sketchbook in it. But I, I do something like that rather than bringing glue sticks and staplers and like all the stuff. Anyway, what I do do um, when we go traveling or visiting is focus on enjoying the moment and spending time with family, taking lots of pictures with my camera collecting bits and pieces like I did here on our trip to Hawaii, starting with this, which was on a cup of coffee, and not doing anything with it except shoving it in a bag until I get home, which is what I did here. And then when I got home, I created this journal and scrapbook about the trip, which I just love. I'm going to do another one about our trip to Virginia. And now the biggest tip I can give you is if you feel like you might want it to use in your book, then bring it home, fit it in your suitcase. But when you do get home, <laughs> don't put said bag in a quote unquote safe place because I did that. The trip we went on to Virginia, which is what I'm going to work on today, um, was done in... July and August and yeah so I have misplaced the bag until a couple of weeks ago because I forgot the safe place I put it in so there you have it anyway um, once you do get home and you have a minute to think and to breathe um, start sorting through your stuff and the first thing I do is sort through all the receipts and things by day and I get them collected by day. And then I go through all of the, which I've done already, books and magazines and pamphlets I brought home. And I pull out the stuff that's interesting to me or relevant to the trip that I want to use. And um, I might, I have these in a pile right next to me and it's possible I pull out a few of them to use as just background pages, but otherwise they're just over there. Okay, now I have all of that stuff sorted over that way. Let's see, well, let me do that, sort of, over that way. I, I did, we did go to a number of places, including Washington, D.C., Jamestown, um, Yorktown. <laughs> um, we, we went all over, we went to Maryland, because I have a niece that lives in, that moved to Maryland right before we, um, one on our trip. Um, and I also spent some time printing photos from the trip that I want to use in the journal. So I'm going to show you how I create the journal and put the pages together. I am going to speed forward through the process. The one thing different I'm going to do from the Hawaii journal to this one is I am going to stop and periodically do a few little watercolor sketches to use on the pages in the book. Um, if you're on Patreon, or you want to be to support the free content here on YouTube, they are going to get a longer, more talky video. So just FYI. You've <laughs> they have their own private YouTube channel with so many videos on there that you guys will never see on here. Um, and yeah, anyway, even some old crazy island videos where I used to teach. Just my videos. Anyway, all right. I think that's it for the minute. Let's get started.
Okay, you guys, when I create journals anymore, this is how I do it. And I love this. Um, it's a great um, way to memorialize an event like a, like a vacation. Uh, it also is fun and for me. I don't have to worry about being perfect. Um, you know, I don't care about that. If it's imperfect, it's cool with me. And by the way, this paper that I added to the cover, this is some of my homemade paper. Um, which I will be keeping in my stock and that's not something that's going to be purged. But I will, as I said, be purging other things that I've discovered I just don't care for. Um, and there's lavender falling off of the paper, but that's okay. Uh, anyway, um, let's get some of it off that's loose. There we go. Uh, anyway, I hope this gives you some ideas of what you can do. Don't drag a bunch of supplies with you when you go on a trip. Take a couple of small things with you to, if you're like me, quell your anxiety, keep you occupied, keep you from being bored, uh, something to do on the plane. I don't sleep well on planes, if at all, and when I try, I usually get sick. So I usually bring my crocheting with me or my homemade coloring book. Um, I'll link the video for the coloring book down below. There is a video on my channel. Um, so think about um, just doing something this way. Collect a bunch of items, bring them home, uh, whether it's a sticker or a postcard or a free pamphlet at the visitor center or those tickets to that ride that you bought. Don't let the husband throw them away. Stick them in your pocket, bring them home. Put them in your journal when you get home along with the pictures that you took and then a little bit of writing. You don't have to go into great detail. You could do more than I did, but you know, whatever makes you happy. Anyway, this is what I do. I hope it gives you some ideas. Don't forget to check the video description for relevant links. And if you have questions, comments, or concerns, leave them down below. If you want to send me happy mail or join my Patreon, that's down there. And um, if you're already in Patreon and you're watching the extended version, little bit extended version of this, thank you very much. I do appreciate and love you all very, very much. Anyway, if you are a patron and you have questions about this, you know we have the um, Facebook Messenger chat, and also you can leave something on Patreon. Um, I will get back to you ASAP, I promise. You all know that. And if you're not in Patreon and you want that access, well, I mean, you know, they have their private YouTube channel, they have ready access to me, all the things. So anyway, that's it for today. Go out, take a trip, a big one, a small one, create a journal from it. Above all, do something nice for yourself because you deserve it, and I'll see you later. Bye, guys.